Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsidertips.com. In this video, I'm going to show you my five favorite custom GBTs for SEO and growing your website traffic. Now, before diving in, if you are new to GBTs, I would highly recommend subscribing to my channel here on AI Insider Tips, where I have videos that show how to create a custom GBT, my top five overall GBTs right now, and just other AI tips, tricks, reviews, and more. I spend hours on these videos, guys, and would truly appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel, liked my videos, commented below, and just everything else that's involved. So I'd really appreciate that. So now he's diving into the first custom GBT for SEO. This one is called Revenue Driven SEO Keyword Research and Analysis. And why I like this one so much, guys, is that if you have an idea for what type of blog or website that you want to start, but you don't really know what to do past that, this is where I would start. And I will leave a link to each of these custom GBTs in the video description below. One other thing I do want to mention is that you have to be a member of ChatGBT Plus or Enterprise in order to access these custom GBTs. So I want to throw that out there. So now this first custom GBT. So if you're on this here, what I did to speed up this process is I went ahead and asked it the following prompt. I want to start a blog about golf. Now I am a fan about golf. I've worked in the business. So I figured golf's a great topic that I can use for these videos. So when I asked at the prompt that I want to start a blog about golf, what this custom GBT does is first it provides some background on what it's going to do. So it talks about keyword research and strategy. And the very first thing that I like is it provides a table of keyword research. So it talks about commercial versus intent keywords or informational keywords. And then in this table, it provides a list of 30 keywords or 20 keywords right here to start where it says, you know, best golf clubs for beginners, commercial, golf swing techniques, informational. And then you could take each one of these keywords and write designated blog posts for each keyword. So it gives you the ideation on how to get started here. It also provides, you know, some other information on keywords, uh, some strategy rationale, um, next steps and questions, and then also just some other information here. So great place to get started with SEO is this first custom GBT called Revenue Driven SEO Keyword Research and Analysis. The second custom GBT I want to show you is called Keyword Strategy Planner. So going back to the topic of golf, if I say... Um, I'll just type in golf for this example. But what this is going to do is this is primarily a keyword research custom GBT. So if I just give it golf, what it's going to do is it's going to give me a table of keyword clusters. It's going to give me long tail. It's going to give me informational versus commercial search intent. It's going to also provide a title and a meta description for each keyword, which is extremely useful. So again, this is kind of like the first one where it still provided some keyword data, but why this is so important in my opinion is this keyword strategy planner GBT takes keyword research to the next level. It offers more fields, it offers more customization, um, and it gives you better direction of what to do with these keywords. So for example, the, the cluster, this could be a category. So if I wanted to make a category of golf equipment, within that category, these are two different keywords, golf ball comparison, best golf club for beginners. And for each keyword, I would write a designated blog post for each keyword targeting the primary search intent. So search intent is transactional, informational for this one. You could even copy and paste the title and meta description here. So again, if you're looking for a great keyword research tool on ChatGBT, Keyword Strategy Planner is the second custom GBT for SEO that I would recommend. So guys, the third custom GBT I want to show you for SEO is called the Content Helpfulness and Quality SEO Analyzer. So you'll see right here, it says add your site content URL to assess. So all you need to do is copy and paste a blog post or an article on your website. And what this custom GBT will do is it'll analyze it and it'll assess it for content helpfulness, EEAT, and just other SEO metrics that it's going to look for and provide feedback. So what I'm going to do in this example is I am going to use this article on the AI Insider Tips website, 11 best AI writing software tools. And I went ahead and copy and pasted this into the custom GBT. So once I did that, it says, great, you provided a URL for content assessment. Could you please specify the targeted query you want to rank for with this content? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it the specific query, best AI writing software. And then once I give it the specific query and it says up here, if you have a URL list of competitors, you can add those as well. Um, but I just gave it the query in this example. And guys, it's doing some research and analysis. I'm going to skip ahead after this is complete and show you the output. All right, so after the output is complete from the content helpfulness and quality SEO analyzer, 
What I really like about this is I'm going to bring this back into my tab. For some reason, it got out of my tabs here. But what I really like about this, guys, is it breaks it down. So it breaks down the helpfulness and people satisfaction, the quality, expertise and experience, presentation, page experience, and overall recommendations. So just looking at this really quickly, and it even provides some of these jump links here too, which is nice. So what this did essentially is it looked at my article for the exact keyword that I gave it, and then it scraped the internet. So it scraped Bing in this example because ChatGBT integrates directly with Bing. And it looked at the first page of results for Bing for that given keyword, compared it to my article and is providing feedback. So right here under the helpfulness and satisfaction, it says AI Insider Tips provides a clear categorized list of AI tools with strengths. The structure is helpful for readers with diverse needs compared to the competitors, blah, blah, blah. These sources mention common tools emphasizing strengths like affordability. So it's giving me right here the links for the competitors if I want to analyze their articles. So quality, it's telling me that I have pretty good quality. Um, expertise, it's talking about my expertise as an author here, but scrolling down to the recommendations, this is the most important part. It says, enhanced depth of content. While AI Insider Tips provides a good overview, can benefit from adding more in-depth reviews, testimonials, or case studies. And I agree with that. If I'm looking through this, I don't have too much depth for each tool that I go over in this specific blog post. I go through key features, some screenshots, pricing, but I don't have testimonials, I don't have reviews, and I could get a little more in-depth with these tools. So I do agree with that. Expertise highlighting further emphasize Ryan Dozer's expertise and experience potentially through author bio sections or links to his other works. Now I have started to work on my author bio with the EEAT for myself on this site. As you'll see here, I've been featured on Yahoo Finance, Go Banking Rates, Consumer Affairs, The Recursive, and other sorts of publications about AI. But I do agree with that. I do need to boost my EET and get in more of these publications and get more backlinks to the site. So I do agree with that interactive elements. I do not have a lot of interactive elements. And then it says SU optimization and sir keyword optimization, not just for best AI writing software, but other for related long tail keywords and regularly update the content to keep it relevant as new tools emerge. That is great advice, especially for AI as new tools come and go. You do need to keep your content fresh if you want to rank for any sort of keyword in that realm. So that's the other, that's the third GBT guys is this content helpfulness and quality SEO analyzer. All right, guys, so the final custom GBT for SEO I wanna show you in this video is this K2 SEO writer, number one AI writer and content creator. Now, going to chat GBT even on the free version and asking it to write you, you know, a 2000 word SEO optimized blog is nothing new, but what's really unique about this one is it says it's designed for superior multi-language AI writing performance, EEAT, HCU, which stands for helpful content update, Google November 2023 friendly. So this, this is optimized for the recent algorithm updates in Google. So I'm very curious to see what it's going to give me this time. I have tested this in the past and I was impressed with the outputs, but I'm gonna show you guys in real time what I mean and what this can do. So for the purposes of this example, I'm gonna go back to one of the other custom GBTs that I talked about. And I'm gonna pull a keyword from this table here about golf. So in this example, I am going to do, let's do best golf clubs for beginners. So I'm gonna come over and copy this keyword. I'm gonna paste it in here. And before I do that, I'm going to say, write a 1500 word blog post on the following keyword. So you have to prompt it up a little bit instead of just plugging in that keyword. So I'm gonna do that. And guys, while it is processing, I am going to skip ahead and then come back after this output is complete. All right, guys, so after this output is complete, let's quickly go through what this K2 SEO writer came up with. So the first thing that I really liked about what it did is when I said write a 1500 word blog post on the keyword, it asked for more details. It asked about what is my target audience, it asked for the tone and style, specific aspects, content format, any additional long tail SEO keywords that I wanna cover. Typically in chat GBT, if you're going to say write a 2000 word blog post on this keyword, it's just going to start writing. It's not going to ask you for these more specific details. So that is number one, why I really like this custom GBT is it asks you to get more specific, which is great. Now looking into the actual blog post itself, what it did before that is it crafted an outline. So it talks about the introduction, the H2s, the H3s, uh, the different topics, the FAQs. 
So what's nice about this is it provided an outline before diving in too. So if I want to look over the outline, I can say, I actually don't like this H3. I don't like this H2. Please change this. Please change that. And you can alter the outline before it actual writes the finished product. I just said, write the blog post for the purposes of this video. So it went ahead and wrote the blog post. It did what I asked the title here, the H2, uh, some H3s down here when it's talking about factors. It goes into the top recommended golf clubs for beginners, even provides some tips for first time golf buyers, which I like. Um, and it also provided some FAQs. So some good FAQs are custom fit clubs necessary. How many clubs should a beginner need? Um, I'm assuming this just pulled this straight off the front page of Bing since it integrated with Bing. Um, but overall, guys, I wouldn't recommend just copying and pasting this onto your blog. I would tweak this, um, but this just gives you a really good start. And what's great about this is if you like the output, you can simply go back to each individual keyword and it's rinse and repeat. You can copy and paste each keyword, start a new chat for the K2 SEO writer, and now you have 20 blog posts using AI instead of manually writing blog posts yourself. Now, I will say you will need actual images and videos to prove to Google that you are a real person to boost that EEAT in your content. So don't just copy and paste straight content from chat, GBT, or AI tools and expect it to rank. You do need to add that experience element, which is becoming more important in SEO. But that's it, guys. Those are some of the best custom GBTs that I found so far for SEO and growing your website traffic. Again, this is Ryan with AI Insider Tips. Appreciate you all watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Drop a comment below if you found any other GBTs that you use for your SEO efforts. Be sure to like this video and check my channel out for other related content. Again, I appreciate you guys watching and I hope you all have a great day.